Hi there, welcome to Izzy's Pops. My name is Izzy and I am a pop collector from the UK. Now, I've actually already filmed this video like four times, but, um, not four times, it's been like twice, but technology uh, hates me today. So this could either go really well or really bad. So yeah. Anyway, today, this isn't the video I had planned today. I actually wanted to do a pop figure hunt at Toys R Us because uh, yesterday for me, which was the 28th of February, 20, 28th of February, uh, Toys R Us went into administration. Um, I think that's the word they use. I am I in focus? If I sit like this, I wouldn't be. Uh, that, that's the word, I think that's the word they used. Um, so I wanted to go and see if they had any deals on Funko products or everything. But unfortunately for some, fortunately for others, um, we in the UK are experiencing a bit of a snowstorm lately. Um, it's called the Beast from the East. Um, and compared to other countries like Canada and Norway, um, it's nothing. But because the UK and especially the place that where I'm from in the UK, we just aren't uh, a, a, equipped for uh, for snow. So I didn't want to risk it and drive to the nearest Toys R Us, which is about 30 minute drive, um, and then get snowed in over there and not be able to make it home. So I thought I'd play it safe and uh, not do that today, which is a shame because I really wanted to do it. But um, I, health and safety is uh, obviously a priority in life. So yeah, but anyway, today I thought I would do a quick, um, not quick, it's probably going to be quite long, a um, a Funko Pop haul because um, I've, I've accumulated and gathered quite a lot of uh, Funko Pops that I haven't shown on camera yet. So I thought that would be a really good idea, really original good idea. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm really paranoid that this isn't going to be in focus because uh, the first time I filmed this I was completely out of focus, which is great. So the first uh, pop I'm going to show you is this one which is obviously Harry from Home Alone. Um, if you've watched my current pop fate, current current Funko Pop video you'd notice I've got Kevin and I have Marv on the way but I was still looking for Harry and my parents actually kindly picked this up for me um, when they went away for the weekend they left me here alone. It's fine I'm nearly 20 they didn't just abandon me um, but they thought they'd just pick me up a present which was nice and they knew I needed this one so they picked this one up for me which was really kind of them. So here he is out of the box I really like the detail of his head because in I can't remember if it's the first or second fun uh, Kevin obviously booby traps the houses and the, the blow torch caught his head on fire and then he put his head in the toilet um, and there was some sort of like flammable liquid in there and his, his head just went Phew. so I really like the detail of the burnt head so that's the first one I'm going to show you I am rushing through this a little bit because um, I've only got six minutes left on this memory card and I feel like this video might be a little bit long so yeah the next four uh, the next four Funko Pops I've got are ones I picked up in Forbidden Planet in Stoke-on-Trent now my sister goes to university near Stoke, so whenever we go up to see her, I'm allowed to pop them in Forbidden. I'm allowed to pop into Forbidden Planet and buy a couple of pop figures, whichever ones I want. Um, uh, so it's like it's kind of two things ticking off the list: get to see Poppy, get to go to pop figures. So it's it's great. Um, but yeah, the the Stoke store is personally one of the best Funko uh, for, uh, Forbidden Planets I've been in. Uh, there's just so many Funko products, so many exclusives. They're reasonably cheap. Um, ones I've never seen before or ones that have just come out literally they have ones that have come out like that um, which have, aren't anywhere else in the UK like you can buy in stores so it's really really good so the first one I picked up in there was this one it is the glow in the dark reptar now the exclusives in there are 12 99 which are like three two 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 three pound more three pound more than the uh, the standard ones which is I think is a pretty good price um, and this glow in the dark one glows really well, I've got two glow the dark ones now, uh, the other one not really too much, this one really well and I really like him, um, so he's a great adaption to my set, I just need now the Chase Reptile which is purple and the Reptile with cereals. The only issue I've got with this one is, can you see here, you probably can't see, but do you know when you um, you paint your nails and they're still a bit tacky and you, you press it by accident and there's like a little thumb, thumb print, it looks like when this was still warm someone had accidentally picked it up and there's like a little thumbprint there, which I would have changed to like, I noticed this whilst I was in the store and I would have changed it, swapped it, but this was the only one left and I really wanted it, so I thought it's not really that big a deal, I can, I can sort of live with that, so that's why I went with him. Uh, so the second one I noticed was this, which is Joyce in Biohazard Suit, now I really wanted this one, I really want Joyce and Hopper, and I believe they are maybe Hot Topic exclusives, I have no idea, I uh, should have done the research really, but I didn't, oh, sorry, this piece of, is this piece of hair annoying anyone else? I should have done the research, but I didn't, uh, and as you can see, her box is really quite beaten up, um, 
and she was the only one left there. I really wanted this one. I haven't seen this one in any UK stores, just on like Facebook pages for sale and like people trying to get quite a lot of money for them. And like I'm just not willing to pay that much for them because I know they're only worth about twelve ninety nine, fifteen pounds tops. And I wasn't willing to pay more than that on a Facebook site. Oh, sorry, the dogs, the dogs woken up. Hang on. And I'm back. <laughs> the dog woke up. Um, so yeah, here we. Um, so yeah, the box is really broken, and damaged, and I was like. Umming and ahhing, I, I really wanted her, and my dad said, well, you don't keep them in the boxes anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Um, so I was like, yeah, good point. So I was going to get her anyway, and then when we went to the till, I said to the lady, oh, I don't suppose you could knock a couple of pound off for the, um, the damaged box. So she spoke to her manager, and luckily I managed to get this one for 9 99 which is the price of the standard ones. So I was really happy about that, especially because I'm an out-of-box collector. I do keep the boxes, like I've said before, and it would have been really nice to have her in a, a neat box, but... I'm, I'm okay with this, um, and I, I really like her. I really love Stranger Things. Joyce is one of my favourite characters, so I'm really happy I've got an exclusive one of her. So the second one, or the third one, sorry, I noticed in Forbidden Planet was Zombie Ed. Now, Zombie Ed is obviously from Shaun of the Dead. Um, the set on the back is Shaun and then Ed. Um, I really like Shaun of the Dead, and I really like Hot Fuzz, um, and the director of those two films is, if you don't know, Edgar Wright, and Edgar Wright actually DM'd me on Twitter the other month. I was doing a an essay about him and I kept tweeting him, being like, message me, give me facts about you. Uh, so he actually DM'd me, which was really nice of him. Um, so I thought I'd pick up Zombie Ed. Now I haven't seen Zombie Ed in a shop before. I've seen him online, uh, not online, sorry, on the Facebook pages. I haven't seen him on for sale online anywhere either, just the Facebook pages. And I thought he was retired, so when I saw him I was like, oh my god, it's Zombie Ed. And Dad goes, really? I didn't even think you liked Shaun of the Dead. Um, but no, I, I was really happy with him and I was for sure, I grabbed hold of him straight away so no one could, um, there wasn't really any many people in there but I grabbed hold of him straight away so no one else could, uh, could take him. So I really like him. He's actually an Underground Toys exclusive, uh, but I believe he may be like a box launch exclusive. I think that's the UK sticker. I think the American sticker would have been box launch. I don't know, um, but I really like him. He's really cool. I would like to get the, like, the whole Shaun of the Dead set, but... Because they're retired, I think they're going to be really, really hard to get hold of. Um, so if I do come across them, I will. But I'm not going to be paying a fortune for them. Because I, I personally don't think they're worth more than the £15 that people try and sell them for. So my next one is Max from Stranger Things. Sorry, she's got the sticker there. So she was 9 99 because she's a standard... Oh. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to ruin the box. But here she, here she is. I'm going to get her out of the box just to show you the... Um, the, 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 the... What's it called? The... Uh, Oh, detail, that's it, that's the word, detail on her so as you can see she's got the long hair but if you look under the long hair she's got a rucksack on and I really like the fact that even though she has the long hair so you can't really see the rucksack she still has the rucksack um, I think that's a really really good piece of detail and Max is one of my favourite characters from season 2 I just think she's really cool and really um, tough and hard I would really like the Hot Topic exclusive one where she's in her, her skull mask, her Halloween outfit but I'll only pick that up if I see it in a store or online cheap. Again, I'm not going to be paying uh, paying out more than I think she's worth on a Facebook site. So yeah, really like her. She'll go with my Stranger Things set. She's actually the only Stranger Things uh, character I've got from Series 2. So she should feel honoured. So that's it from the Forbidden Planets. Moving on, I've got two from Toys R Us. I went to Toys R Us the other week. I had a look. And these two here were only £4.50 each, I think. Which is why I picked them up. The first one here is Fear from Inside Out. I really like him because he's not, like, you know with these ones they've got quite big square heads, that's like the pop figure sort of, how you recognise pop figures because they've got square heads. This one has got a rectangular head because obviously that's his, uh, that's his shape in the film. And I believe Inside Out is one of the best um, Disney films out there, like the most recent ones because they just sort of, they, it shows kids and also parents and teenagers how we feel and it shows them about mental health and feelings and stuff. I just think it's a really great film and I picked him up because he was only £4.50. If he was £10, probably wouldn't have picked him up just because I haven't got any of the others and I think all the others have retired now so it'd be really hard to get hold of them. I think he would have looked good, really, like really good in the set but um, he was only £4.50. The box is really good and they also had like eight of them there so I think that's why they must have over-ordered and that's why they're selling them for £4.50 each. But I really like him. And I'm back. I'm sorry, technology just really isn't on my side today, and I am aware I've been talking really quickly throughout this video. Uh, I do apologise. But yeah, the next one that I got from Toys R Us was again £4.50, and it is Cruise from Cars 3. Um, this is my first Cars character, so I really like the fact that they're uh, in car shape. <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense, but I hope 
I hope you get what I mean. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, they're not like this, they're like this, but it's quite obviously a pop figure. I really like him because, like, if you look really closely, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's, like, really shiny and there's, like, glitter in there. So I really like him. I think he's really cool. So, yeah, my first Cars one, I would quite like uh, Mata from Cars and, obviously... Oh, who's who's Cars from Cars? Lightning McQueen. I would really like Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. You know, oh, I can't... Why well, can't I get my words out today? I would really like Mater and Lightning McQueen. Um, I think they're really cool characters and I would quite like them. And then... Have I done all of them? I feel like I'm missing some. No, I haven't. And then... Um, this is a pretty cool one. This is already on my shelf. But if I take him off quick... This is uh, a double pack of Negan and Carl from The Walking Dead. Now this here was actually pop in the box do mystery damage packages. Um, and I think they're normally about 4 99 5 99 but I had 20% discount, so I got it for 3 99 um, And when this came in the post, I was, like, really, like, did I actually order this? Like, I couldn't remember if I had ordered it, because I don't, I don't think I did. Um, and then I realised that, actually, it was a damaged pop. But the only damage I can see is a little dent there. And this is a bit sun-faded, or it looks a little bit sun-faded. If you can hear snoring, it's the dog. Um... But he's, like, they're really cool, and I really needed this Carl for my set. Uh, I've already got Negan, but the fact that it's a double pack, and it was only 3 99 I was a bit, like, whoa. I was a bit, like, shocked. And it's an exclusive. I think it's a BAM exclusive, and I think that stands for books and something. Um, I think it's American. But, I, but yeah, I was just I was really surprised when I got this in the post, and I was a little bit confused, to be honest. So my next one, and my final one, actually, I received this morning, and it is... Nia or Maya and Sebastian from La La Land. Uh, I love La La Land. I've been waiting for this one since it was uh, it was released. Um, I hadn't ordered it, but I was hoping to get it for Christmas, but then I didn't. Um, and then I sort of I ordered it after Christmas, and it's only just arrived. It's taken like six weeks, seven weeks. Um, but they're they're really good. I loved La La Land. I went to see it with a friend um, about about this time last year. Uh, I loved it, so that's really good. So yeah, that's all I've got. For today, um, I know I've talked really quick, I know it's been really rushed and really like unprofessional. My camera hates me. Everything hates me. But yeah, let me know what your favourite one is from this little haul. Mine's got to be either uh, Reptar, or Glow Dark Reptar, or Joyce Bio has a suit, or maybe even uh, Zombie Ed. Um, I like all of them, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have got them all. Uh, let me know what your favourite is. Uh, wish me luck for the Beast from the East. I don't want to get snowed in. Uh, goodbye!